Hi, welcome to Campus News. I'm Chad. And I'm Lauren. With the recent change in weather, we'll be seeing many more ducks around campus. With these ducks comes pros and cons. Pro, a lot of cute Instagram posts about ducks. Con, duck poop. Public opinion has ranged from, yay, duckies, to, oh, duck. <laughs> also, don't forget that student body elections for student body president are being held next Tuesday. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That is morning and night for all you people who don't know math. <laughs> Just kidding. The front runners include Raquel Ladera, who's running on the student party ticket, Steve Fitz, running on the academic party ticket, and a writing candidate by the name of Chet Manley, who's running on the party party ticket. It'll be interesting to see what happens in this election given that our student body president really doesn't have any power. Speaking of power, food. Speaking of food, the cat. We sent our correspondent, Cindy, down to our, to get the lowdown on our cat food. Hey guys, this is Cindy. New school year means food at the calf again. What do we have this time? Mac and cheese. That that looks um fabulous, and it smells. You know what? I mean, what else do we have? A wrap. Yup. This is exactly why we're here, and it's falling apart. There's poo in my wrap. Um, is that all we have today, or is there something else? Oh, okay. Water. Perfect! I'm not sure I trust it. So, there are lots of other places to eat around campus, so yeah, whatever you want. Bye! The last weekend was a pretty big weekend for campus sports. And here with all the highlights, it's our good buddy Eustace. Eustace, what you got for us? Thank you, Chaz. Hey, so I have some scores written down. They seem to be about right. In women's volleyball, we won 39 to five and a half. Yes, and in basketball, we won with the, the final hoop into the thingy, the sack. The final hoop into the sack. That's what it's called, yeah. And then, wait, and in, in softball, I fell asleep, but I had some highlights from the football game. So here, we can't show them, but, but I can reenact it. Here I go. Now I'm going to reenact this for you viewers. This is exactly what happened. This is our team. Oh, we won! Woo! Spoiler alert. I'm gonna sit him. Okay, I'll just. This is our coach. Yeah! I coach the team. Okay. And this is the other team. A worthless hunk of potassium with a brown spot on it. Okay. This is how the first play went. Here we go! I'm gonna win with this goal! There's gonna be a ball right here. We'll add that in later. Ugh, no, you're not gonna get past us. Yeah, Will. We got past them. That was first down. Okay, just gonna go over to second half. Oh, and by the way, the coach was like, yes, I'm so happy that this happened. Good. Okay, just gonna put him there. Gonna put the banana over here. And here we go. You guys are gonna get past us. Yes, we will. Goal! Yes! Fans went, yes! And basically, I think that's how we won, yes. Yeah, we won that one. Back to you, Lauren. Interesting reporting, Eustace. We now take you to our sit down with our campus ministry coordinator, Ron Levine. Welcome to the interview portion of Campus News. It's when we sit down and we interview someone. This week we are interviewing the someone that is Mr. Levine. It's actually Levine. 
My apologies. Uh, Mr. Levinay, can you tell the students some of the ministry opportunities this uh, year on campus? Certainly. We're working with a charity that gives uh, copious amounts of candy to children who have been malnourished, and we're also working with an organization that does something with shoes in one of those countries that are very poor. Some have criticized you for these new projects, um, that you're not being very helpful. What do you have to say to those cynical people? Well, to those cynical people, I would say that we can sit around and waste our time studying about the needs of people and trying to meet those needs, or we can just go out and do the things that we think we should do. You know, the Bible calls us to be doers. You know, uh, speaking of that, I would want to study for three days for a science exam. And in it being, I study the wrong chapters. So I really think the takeaway is that study is the real evil. Can you tell us about some of the chapel speakers? I can. We've got Chris Raleigh coming in. Um, he recently saved a turtle from dying in his backyard. We also have Alyssa. She is a singer. She sings good and she sold 300 albums uh, over the course of two years. And we've also got Joe Gibbs coming. Joe Gibbs, uh, you're talking about Super Bowl winning coach, NASCAR champion team owner, Joe Gibbs. Uh, no, just just the youth pastor from Missouri, Joe Gibbs. So. Oh, sounds e equally cool. Sounds like some exciting speakers. We're really hoping so. Well, uh, I think that about does it here for Campus News. Uh, tune in next week. Uh, same news time, same news channel, same news news, same news people. It's just a new day, news people, news day, day news. Thank you.